If the log cabin in this picture isn't the oldest remaining structure in Snohomish County, it's in the soundest condition considering its age. Civil War veteran Charles Kuykendall showed up in, on the Puget Sound scene in 1875, coming from the parched plains of Kansas by the way of San Francisco. Having left a homestead in the Middle West, Kuykendall was forced to buy land from the government. His purchase, 120 acres of heavily timbered Pilchuck River land between Snohomish and Machias for $1.25 per acre. The hard-working pioneer built this marvelous cabin using the finest and straightest logs available. Some people say the cabin survived in such good protected shape today because of the overhanging porches which protected the main building from the weather and because of the meticulous care and upkeep furnished by the builder and his descendants. Before his death in 1886, Kuykendall had cleared 11 acres for crops and planted the whole bench above the Pilchuck bottomlands to fruit trees. In 1894, Kuykendall's youngest daughter, Lily, married William Maddox and moved into the cabin. The Maddox family lived there until 1923. Three daughters were born in the cabin, Stella of Snohomish, Harriet of Seattle, and Anne of Snohomish. Anne died in 1921. In 1923, the cabin, now expanded and provided with the beautiful stone fireplace seen in the picture, was sold to Arthur Frolic. Since that time, it's changed hands a couple of times. The history of the Kuykendall cabin. Charles Kuykendall built this cabin in 1875 on a 120 acre Pilchuck River homestead that was purchased for $1.25 an acre. The log cabin was located first north of Snohomish between the Snohomish and Machias Road on the banks of the Pilchuck River. This cabin was once one of the pioneer landmarks of the area with its big stone fireplace, huge chinked log, logs and spacious porches. The first floor of the original cabin was just one room and extended to the back wall of the parlor. The cabin was 20 feet wide and 16 feet deep. The Kuykendall, Kuykendall family moved into their new home in October of 1875. The kitchen area was added on the back about 20 years later, approximately 1895 increasing the depth to 25 feet. The second floor was used for sleeping quarters. When the cabin was eventually wired for electricity, the light bulb was located above the organ, not only for light, but to keep the cabin, the organ warm and dry during the winter months. This historic cabin was moved to its current location in approximately 1964. It currently sits on the Snohomish Pioneer Cemetery, which is a complete story in itself. <laughs>